Aquafane Lozman's houseboat sat near the Riviera Beach Marina for years and sparked a major legal battle that lasted for years with the city. Now, the boat was destroyed, and now Lozman has another houseboat and is parked on the Intracoastal on Singer Island, a stone's throw from some pricey condos. Now, Lozman says it took 18 hours to tow his boat here, which he parked on Sunday. Lozman now owns 25 acres of submerged land on Singer Island. He says he hopes to create an upscale houseboat community where people can buy a home on the water. There's a sign on the side of the houseboat that says, Fane Lozman returns. Thank you, U.S. Supreme Court. Now, this afternoon, Riviera Beach police spent hours here to begin an investigation. In 2013, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled in Lozman's favor after he said the city unlawfully removed his floating home. The high court ruled that its floating home was, was a house, not a boat, and was not covered under maritime law. Again, I love living on a floating home, and by having it on private property, the city or state or federal government can never arrest it again. That's my dwelling, and uh, that's what the Supreme Court said, and I want to have my utilities, and I'm going to live there. That's, good. that's my house. And we reached out to a spokesperson for the city of Riviera Beach. We are still waiting for a return call. That's the very latest. We're live on Singer Island. Ted White, WPBF 25 News.